Hey, what's up guys? Mace here, and welcome back to Would You Rather, the game that gives you the most rational, most common sense, logical <laughs> life questions of would you rather do this or do that. And in the sense of logic and rationality, the first one is, would you rather be allergic to babies or be allergic to elderly people? Yeah. Um, totally, totally rational and logical and definitely a life question. Uh, anyway, so would I rather be allergic to babies or allergic to elderly people? Well, what's the severity of the allergy? Is it the allergy like sneezing or itchy nose or like watery eyes or is it like straight up anaphylactic shock where I need like an EpiPen all the time? Um, let's just say it's like simple stuff like just sneezing and runny nose and maybe watery eyes. Which one am I more likely to interact with? Um, really nobody, but I'd probably be allergic to babies. Okay, whatever. I don't know. That's a weird one. Would you rather be Gandalf or Luke Skywalker? Uh... I think Luke Skywalker's to Star Wars. I don't know what Gandalf is. I'm gonna go with Luke Skywalker. I'm, I'm just choosing what the majority would choose, which is Star Wars. If you had to choose a school for seven years, would you rather... Attend Hogwarts or attend Xavier School for Gifted Youngsters? Like Professor Charles Xavier, Professor X School for Gifted Youngsters, like for the mutants. Ooh, I don't know. If this is what I think it is, like X-Men wise. Ooh, I don't know. Attend Hogwarts or attend Xavier School. Hmm. So would I rather be a wizard or a, a mutant? Uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna assume that people would choose Hogwarts. Yeah. Oh, not as much as I thought. I thought this would be like 80 and this would be 20, but never mind. Uh, Xavier would be pretty cool, but I'm going by majority. Plus Hogwarts would be pretty cool. Uh, I answered this one. I remember this because it was weird. Ooh, would you rather have two left hands or have two left feet? Well, I'm already left-handed, so two left hands would be kind of an interesting advantage for me. But two left feet. I think there was an episode of Full House where uh, Joey had, he had two left shoes or two right shoes or whatever, and he couldn't walk in a straight line. He always had to walk in circles. <laughs> it was kind of funny. Um, so, I mean, if I had my left hand, if I had a left hand on this side, my thumb would be over here. My pinky would be here. Yeah, everything would be inverted. So I would, have to, I would have to learn how to use a mouse with my left hand. I'd rather have two left feet. Because I am already I already have like, the muscle memory to learn a uh, mouse and, you know, like use the buttons and stuff. To switch it to my left hand, I would have to recalibrate those buttons. And plus, my mouse has, um... If you can see... I'm just trying to make sure it focuses. It has these little, um... Little things on them which go back and forth on pages. So, yeah. Where's my mouse? Here it is. All right. Would you rather be tall and really skinny or be buff and really short? Um, well, see, really skinny is like is a is a general term because people have different terms of skinny. Is skinny like like me because I'm really skinny, or is it skinny like like stick thin anorexic like eating disorder skinny? Like anorexic or bulimic skinny. I think I'd rather be buff and really short. Because again, t tall and short are... Um, uh, what's the word? They're... Um, they're uh, subjective. They're subjective terms. Like what is really tall, what is really short. Is like 5 foot 4 for a guy really short. Is 6 foot 8 really tall for a guy or is 6 feet really tall for a woman or is 5 2 really short for a woman there, there really is no there's no general way uh, I answered this one too okay would you rather never understand the concept, the concept of time <laughs> there's some people who don't or never understand the concept of sex um 
the concept of time would I still be able to t- I think I'd still t- be able to tell time I just wouldn't understand well I mean the whole thing of, of time is like this is already passed I can't go back or even with time travel you got uh, boot uh, bootstrap paradoxes um, grandfather paradox you've got time loops which I believe are also called bootstrap paradoxes. I'm not sure. No, that's no bootstrap paradox is when something happens that knocks something out. Grandfather, no, no, I'm wrong. Grandfather paradox does that, where it knocks something out of proportion and just loops back in a different scenario. No, um, I should probably stop. <laughs> See, I already don't get the well. That's time travel though, and time paradoxes. That's not time itself. That's just variations of time or the. They're the subgenres of time. Time itself is, is, is like cause to effect, or as the doctor would put it, it's more like a big bowl of wibbly wobbly, timey wimey, stuff. I have not clicked on an answer yet, have I? No. Okay. Um, concept of sex. Does that include things like masturbation and foreplay? Um. Time. Because I can still tell time, I just don't understand the concept of it. And everyone could correct me of that, but I would not get it. Would you rather marry at age 10, never marry at all? Who the hell, what? Who gets married at age 10? I, I don't even know if anyone gets married at age 16 in this country. That's the legal age to get married here in Canada, 16. Would you rather be Godzilla or King Kong? Ooh, this is a good one. So basically, would I rather be a giant lizard or rather be a giant gorilla? That's what the question should be. Um, but Godzilla destroyed all of Tokyo. King Kong destroyed. He didn't really destroy anything. He just took. He just climbed on the Empire State Building and took um and took a woman with him. I've seen so many um, so many uh, uh, parodies or spoofs of that where there's like someone hanging off a building and like swatting at planes. I'm going to be King Kong. Because I like gorillas. I don't really care about... Yeah, okay. Fine, whatever. Would you rather have arms in proportion to a T-Rex? So they're like really short arms. Can't do anything. Or have a neck in proportion to a brontosaurus? Oh, isn't the brontosaurus like one of those really like long, like giraffe-like... Um, uh, da, 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 giraffe-like necks? Where they like can swoop down? Okay. Um, I think I'm going to go with the T-Rex because T-Rex are badass. I mean, I'm not going to be a T-Rex, but I would definitely love, I would love to, I would be pretty cool to have arms like that because that means I'd have to do this to use my mouse and then reach over here to do the keyboard. I could reach the keyboard. Yeah. Would you rather get hit by a bus or watch a loved one get hit by a bus? Um, get hit by a bus. Doesn't say how fast the bus is going. The bus could be going like this and just like lightly hits me. Doesn't even knock me down. Or I could hit the bus because I run into things. Would you rather own a pocket-sized giraffe or own a pocket-sized elephant? Giraffe. I think giraffe would be pretty cool. Elephants are annoying. Would you rather chill with Eminem or chill with Jay-Z? Ooh. It'd be funny if it said, would you rather chill in an elevator with Jay-Z? That'd be even funnier because that elevator incident. <laughs> I'm going to go with chill with Eminem. He seems, I mean, they both seem like really awesome people to hang out with, but I'm going to go with Eminem. Would you rather die slowly, but with not, but not them, but not much pain or die fast with a lot of pain? Die slowly because dying slow could be like old age. In fact, like I'm dying slow right now. I'm aging. As I get older and older and older, I get slowly towards my death. So therefore, I'm technically dying slowly right now. But I'm not in any pain. Dying fast would be like falling in lava and dying. Would you rather be waterboarded to death or be electrocuted to death? Uh, ooh. Waterboarding is like where you pour like something on top of you and start pouring water. Yeah, and then like it, it simulates the effect of drowning. The CIA uses that all the time. It turns out that kind of torture method is legal for the CIA to use, believe it or not. Be electrocuted to death. It depends. I mean, how high is... Because what I want is low frequency, 
high voltage because uh, I don't want to, because if it's like high frequency, high voltage, it all they'll do is burn me and I don't want to be burned because that hurts. If I be electrocuted, it can stop my heart, which will kill me quite fast. I'd rather be electrocuted because this could be fast because electrocution can kill you. If I just grab a power line, you're dead. You're dead like that or like that. If you could only use one type of bill for the rest of your life, would you rather pay in nothing but singles or pay in nothing but hundreds? Uh, singles, because I don't spend a whole lot of money. Okay. Would you rather be an explorer of the Amazon jungle or the deep sea in a submarine? Amazon jungle. Oh, well, we haven't explored much of the ocean. Actually, we've explored more of space than the ocean. Never mind. Would you rather be unable to experience sadness? I already, I already answered this one. Uh, would you rather be as you are now, but have a hundred million dollars, but have a five percent chance of instant death? Is it a five percent chance of instant death as soon as I get the million dollars or hundred million dollars? Because if that's the case, I'm going with this because money is important in this world. Would you rather have a jello or a pillow room? A uh, jello room would be disgusting. It would, ha it would make me feel sick. It would be all squishy and. Ugh. I don't mind, I don't mind, I don't mind jello. Let's say jelly or jello, and yeah, whatever. Would you rather be homeless and hungry, but always loved by your perfect partner, or have a fabulous house and amazing food, but never have loved or been loved? Uh, I'm going to go with this one. Because the love, because my perfect partner could take me into a house with them. Would you rather be a lefty, lefty? I'm already a lefty, so I feel discriminated because left-handed gloves are actually cost more than right-handed gloves, like when it comes to writing things down or even a mouse. So, yeah. Uh, I answered this one. I Don't ask me why I remember that I answered these. Just go with it. Go with it. Be on the front page of Reddit whenever you want, or be on the front page of the New York Times once. Reddit. I hate the New York Times. I hate the New York Times. Real bastards they are. Would you rather live in a world where everything was written in Comic Sans, or live in a world where the only music that existed was Call Me Maybe? Comic Sans, because I can, I can read, at least. And why does Comic Sans get so much ba get a bad rap? It's a font. Okay, it's a fucking font. You don't need to be fancy with it. It's a font. Ugh. In fact, when I was in grade three, my grade three teacher always told us to write, um... Yeah, she told us to write our report, she, like, write our assignments and stuff and, like, little, like, papers uh, in Comic Sans. I don't know why. I, I don't know why we couldn't have used Calibri or Times New Roman. Well, then we'd be lazy, apathetic, and unimaginative. Um, I actually, when I was in grade four, I used Georgia. That was a pretty interesting font. I, I don't think I ever used Calibri or Times New Roman ever. Would you rather be punched by uh, Saitama, Saitama from One Punch Man or face dependent stare by Ghost Rider? Um... Pen and stare. I mean, here's the thing. When it comes to the pen and stare, I think, I think, I don't know. The, I'm going to go into a little rant here with Ghost Rider. The pen and stare constantly changes in the writing. Um, there was something where, I think, I, I think there was something where if you are aware of the guilt that you, that you suppress within yourself and you don't let it out or, or tell anybody or pray to God about it, then it does, then it work, then like the penance stare doesn't work on you because you are fully aware of what you've done and that you feel guilty about it. Um, but I think other writings say that if you've done anything guilty whatsoever, the penance stare works regardless, unless you don't feel guilty or you don't regret anything like, um, like the Punisher, he didn't regret anything. Um, Hulk, 
feel Hulk didn't work on Hulk because he feels justified that he do, that he does it. Also, because the man is eight feet tall, strongest character in the world. No way that he can try and control his temper and keep him from hurting other people. I'd rather face dependence there. Plus, it doesn't kill you. It just puts you in a penitent state of feeling super guilty and stuff. I don't think it worked on Deadpool. Well, Deadpool's mind is so screwed up anyway, and he's a psychopath. Would you rather be black in a white neighborhood or be white in a black neighborhood? White in a black neighborhood. I don't really care if my neighbors are black, white, Asian. Um, I don't care if they're Indian or um, even Russian or whatever. I don't care. You're my neighbors. I'm not gonna interact. You. I'm not gonna interact with you regardless. <laughs> be the head chef on a luxury cruise liner, or be the head chef in the White House. Luxury cruise. I'm not putting my. I'm not putting my two cents anywhere near the damn White House. Would you rather be hunted by Jack Boar or be hunted by Jason Bourne? I have no idea who those are. I'm gonna skip, uh, and I'm gonna end the video here after this one. Would you rather be a dinosaur or be a narwhal? Um. No, I want a good one. No, that's just that's stupid. That's even stupider. No, we need a good one. <coughs> okay. Would you rather have to smile every waking hour or have to or have to laugh loudly every 30 minutes? Well, how long does the smile last for? Is it like a... Like that? Is that, is that the smile? Or is it like a long, hour-long smile, and then it goes away in the next hour, and then comes back in the next hour, whatever? That would be kind of annoying. Uh, I think... I was trying to stop myself yawning there. So I do this, because apparently it stops me from yawning. Or I believe it does. Happen to laugh loudly every 30 minutes... That would get annoying. I'm gonna go with smile every every waking hour. Because it doesn't say how long the smile lasts for. It just says that what I'm doing... It just says I'm smiling every hour. Which I kind of do anyway. I mean, I, I laugh at everything. Okay. So that's it for this episode of Would You Rather. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, then please leave a like in the video. And subscribe if you want more content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.